Hello everybody. Our lesson for today is lesson 4.5, solving rational equations. Before we are going to start practicing, just to make a reminder to remember what does equation mean and why this equation it is called rational and what exactly do we have to do in order to solve this kind of equations. So first of all, equation it's an identity equals between two expressions. As long as the equation it is called rational, it means that at least one of these two expressions, it will be a rational expression. First of all, to solve this kind of equation, first of all, we have to find the domain or the excluded values. As long as we have to work with fractions, remember that dom domain, the, the denominator in a fraction, it cannot be equals to zero. So we said at least one of these expressions, it's a rational expression, so it will be in the form of p of x to q of x, in which q of x denominator, it cannot be equals to zero. So, we will find, first of all, the excluded values. In the second step, two fractions, they are equals if and only if they have the same numerator and the same denominator. So, in the second step, we will find the same denominator between all the fractions in this identity. In the third step, as long as we found the same denominator, we will remove it. And solve the equation obtained. Between numerators. So let's see exactly what are we going to do. On page 224 in your book, we have question number one. What is the solution to each equation? So we have, I will take the A, 2 over x plus 5 equals to 4. So we see equals between two expressions. And we said identity between two expressions, this is an equation. As long in the left side, the expression in the left side of equals, it's a rational expression. It means this equation, it's a rational equation. First of all, we said we have to find the domain, the excluded values, such that this fraction exists. And this, it will be from denominator, not equals to zero. So we have x plus 5, not equals to zero, which means x does not equal to negative 5. So the domain it will be all of the real numbers less the element negative 5. So this is the first step. Find the domain. In the second step we said, find the same denominator for all the fractions, expressions given. In the left side of the equal, we have here fraction. So we will make the right side a fraction 2. And here denominator 1, here x plus 5. So the same denominator LCM, it will be x plus 5. We found the same denominator and we will make it all to be the same denominator. So times x plus 5. When we will get the same denominator, we said in the third step, remove the same denominator and solve the equation obtained between the numerator. So from left to right, we have two equals 4 times x plus 5. We distribute, it will be 2 equals 4x plus 20 and solve for x minus 20. 
it will be negative 18 equals to 4x. So x equals negative 18 over 4. Simplify by 2. It will be x equals negative 9 over 2. And the value, the solution we obtained for x, it is different. It is not equals to negative 5. So this is the solution of the given rational equation. Let's try more. B. So first of all, we get the domain. x minus 7 does not equal to 0, which means x does not equal to 7. Then the domain, it will be the real numbers minus the element 7. Imagine that when we will solve, we will find x equals to 7. And when we substitute here, 7 minus 7, it will be 0. And 1 over 0 does not exist. That's why it's very important before you will solve the equation to find the domain. In the second step, we said we will find the same denominator. So the LCM in our case, it's x minus 7. So in the first, uh, in the expression left side, we have the denominator x minus 7. In the right side, we will make it so times x minus 7. As long as we got the same denominator, remove it and work with the numerators only. So from left to right, 1 equals 2 times x minus 7. Distribute 1 equals 2x minus 14 plus 14 it will be 15 equals to 2x so x equals to 15 over 2 and 15 over 2 is different than 7 is not equals to 7 so this is solution let's try more on page 226, we have question number 3. So, what is the solution of the equation? So, from left to right, we see denominator, denominator, denominator. So, denominator cannot be equals to 0. So, x plus 2 does not equal to 0. From, from here, x does not equal to negative 2. From the second one, x minus 2 does not equal to 0. Then x does not equal to 2. The last denominator in the right side of the identity, it's the product of the two denominators, so we don't have to write it again. Then the LCM, it will be x plus 2 times x minus 2. And from here, the domain, it will be real numbers minus the element positive or negative 2. So this is the LCM. I will take the fractions one by one in order and see. In the first fraction denominator, it's x plus 2. So it's missing the factor x minus 2. So I will do times x minus 2. In the second fraction denominator, it's x minus 2. And it's missing the x plus 2. So we will do it times x plus 2. In the last fraction, we have both of them. So denominator here, it's the same, the LCM, so we don't have to do any times. Now that we did the times, the denominator, it will be the same, and we do not write work with it, not anymore. So we will delete it. Now we will work with the numerators only. 1 times x minus 2, x minus 2, plus... 1 times x plus 2, it will be plus x plus 2, equals to 4. Negative 2 plus 2, x plus x, 2x, equals to 4. So from here, x equals to 2. And in the domain, we found that the x, it cannot be positive negative 2. So this is not a solution for the given equation. This is called extraneous solution, which means x equals 2. It is solution for this equation, but not for the rational equation given. Why? Let's see. Imagine that instead of x, as long x equals 2, we will put instead of this x2 and 2 minus 2, 
it will be 0. And 1 to 0 does not exist. So this equation has no solution. On page 227, the question 4a. And first of all, as we said, we find the domain. So x minus 3 does not equal to 0, which means x does not equal to 3. So the domain, it's all the real numbers minus the element 3. The same denominator, the LCM is x minus 3. So the first fraction, we will do it times x minus 3. In the second fraction, we don't have to change because already denominator x minus 3 and the last one the same. So when we will do the times, we will get here the same denominator x minus 3 and we do not have to keep working with it. Cross it out. So it will be x times x, x squared, x times negative 3, negative 3x, plus 6, equals to 2x. This is a quadratic equation, so we have to put it in the standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So we will take the 2x, we will move it on the other side. It will be x squared, negative 3x minus 2x minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. Now let's see. The two factors, when we multiply the product, it is 6, and when we add this negative 5, they are negative 2 and negative 3. So negative 2 times negative 3, 6, and when we add negative 5, so we can factor in the equation into x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals to 0. Product, it is 0, if at least one of the factors is 0. So if x minus 2 equals to 0, then x equals to 2. If x minus 3 equals to 0, then x equals to 3. Now let's check. We said domain, it's any real number less 3, which means x equals 3. It is not solution for the given equation. This is called extraneous solution. And the only one solution that exists there, it is x equals to 2. Let's try the B. The denominator is the same, so we will put x plus 5 does not equal to 0, then x does not equal to negative 5. Then the domain, it will be all the real numbers minus the element, negative 5. As long as already the same denominator is in both of the sides, we can simplify by it, and we'll get that x squared equals to 25, which means x equals positive 5, x equals negative 5. Let's check the domain. The real numbers less negative 5. So negative 5, it's extraneous solutions. The only one solution that exists, it is x equals to 5. So only this is solution.